Hello, I'm Graeme Davis, uh, Principal of Great Western Academy, and I'm welcoming you to our video presentation of our school. It's what you would have got if you were able to come to an open evening, but we're putting it on our website so that you can watch this at any time. Uh, I am ably assisted by Mr Clark, who is Vice Principal, Ms Hughes, my Assistant Principal, and then the really important people, our four students sat over here, and all these people will be speaking to you uh, during the course of this presentation. What we're going to do is we're going to cover what makes GWA different. We're going to cover how we put into practice our vision, our values and our ethos um, and that you can then compare that with what you see on our website, with what you see elsewhere and help you make that really, really important decision about where you want to uh, come for your secondary education or if you're a parent where you would want to discuss sending your child. So um, what is important to us at Great Western Academy is the opportunity for students to, to meet three main words that we've used right from our, our inception when we were first opened in September 2018. And those words are achievement, care and excellence. Achievement uh, is all to do with students' results. Unapologetically, we think results are very, very important and we want students to go on and have the very best opportunities going forwards because they've got the grades they need to do that. And I'd like to sort of think about the fact that if you aligned all the schools up in the country and you've got the very best school down this end, maybe the school that makes least progress down here, um, we've always said we want to be at this end of the scale. And we know already that we're doing that. The graph you can see on the presentation just shows a little bit about how our first cohort of students uh, who arrived in the school with uh, the profile of the purple curve you can see. They took some tests uh, at the end of that first year and you can see they've moved on incredibly during that first year of their time here and we know that's replicated in their second year as well. Our sixth form have started brilliantly. Their end of year 12 results are indicating that again they will make fantastic progress. And that's the thing I want to emphasise about our achievement as well is it's not just about the raw grades, it's about what every student progresses from their starting point. Whether that's someone who may go on and apply for Oxford or Cambridge in the end, or someone who needs more support with their learning, every student matters to us. Which brings me on to my second word that we use in the school, which is care. Students will not achieve unless we care for them. And we make sure that that care is uh, provided every day, all day, and that students are welcomed in the school and feel part of what's going on. They also are encouraged, obviously, to care for themselves, to care for each other, to care for the environment, to care for the local community. And all of that, again, is fundamental to GWA and our success. The third word we use is excellence. And excellence indicates that we want to be aiming high in everything that we do. Uh, in particular, it's around all those other things that go on in school, the trips and activities and visits, enrichment time at GWA, which is a very important part of what we do, and we'll talk more about that later. Uh, but it's just being high quality all the time. And those three words, together they make ACE, and our school, we want to be an ACE environment for everybody. But importantly, it's the learners in the end that are really important to us, and they're at the heart of all we do. We use a little quote with everybody in school, staff, students. Um, you can see it on the screen, hopefully behind me. And it says, the greatest danger for most of us is that our, it's not that our aim is too high and that we just miss, but that our aim is too low and we reach it. We want to aim high at all times, and I know I think the students afterwards are going to talk about that as well, uh, amongst other things. So, how do we put that vision into practice? It's all well and good me standing here saying we can be ace, okay? But what would we do? We, we really make sure that students, as far as they possibly can, enjoy their learning and staff enjoy teaching them. It's something we put in all our literature to staff, and it's something we expect to see and, uh, and work with on a day-to-day -day basis. We know most of our students arrive with many strengths and we want to develop those strengths, make them even stronger at it, but we also want to build resilience where they find things difficult. And everybody will have things they feel better at doing and not so strong at doing, but that resilience to give things a go, to have a chance and to develop a growth mindset, which Mr Clark will talk to you about in a minute, is very, very important to us. We also, we are a small school in comparison to others, we're still growing uh, and we will be, uh, be full obviously in due course, but even when we're full, our year groups are a size of around about 150 students. And that 150 students allows us to personalise, to make things special for individuals and give them the chance to shine in those size of year groups. 
We do have a longer day, I've already mentioned this. We have um, from 10 uh, past three until half past four each day, we have our enrichment time. And that enrichment time is an opportunity for students to engage in activities that help them develop very much as a person, but also the chance for them to complete some of their home learning at that point if they need to. And Joe, I think we'll talk to you more about that in a minute. In terms of IT, we provide every student in school with a laptop, and that's so that they can, uh, they can use those during the day to assist their learning. It's not about IT driving our curriculum, but it is about IT being there, ready, whenever it's needed. So on a typical day, you would see a lot of students on laptops in lessons, but actually, most of the time, they probably wouldn't be, and clearly, we still expect them to write things in books every so often, uh, well, more than every so often. <coughs> So what's it all about? It's about progress. It's about making sure students make the very, very best progress and doing that in a quality way through our achievement, care and excellence at all times. And we think we've put that into practice very well in our first few years of opening and want to carry on obviously building on that as we go forwards. So what part of what makes us special is the fact that our curriculum is not limited to just lessons. And I'm going to hand over now to Mr. Clark, who's going to talk to you a little bit more about the whole essence of our GWA curriculum. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you, Mr. Davis. So at the core of being ACE for us is our curriculum. And if you'll be able to see on the presentation, hopefully behind me, uh, that starts, as you'd expect, with the many subjects that we offer. Um, and I think in many schools, talking about the curriculum does really focus on those subjects. As you can see, we offer a whole range of subjects for students to, to thrive and to learn, some new to them, some perhaps not so new, when they arrive at Great Western Academy. But for us here, the curriculum is bigger and better and more important than that. So we also include uh, a few other things which we are integral to our curriculum, which we think are important to move young people forward in order to make that progress, which we hold so dear here at Great Western Academy. One of the things which we are really, really uh, clear about is the importance of reading. Time after time, scientific experiments prove that there's a, a very positive correlation between those who read and read regularly and academic success. So for that reason, we build in reading as a key part of our day. Every day uh, of, the, of the year at Great Western Academy, we all stop, staff included, and we read for 20 minutes in the day. We also progress uh, or track our progress on that reading using the Accelerated Reader Scheme, which supports us in understanding how best to point and direct students in terms of what they're reading. That's an important and integral part of our curriculum. But we know that also there are lots of other challenges that young people face. So we have a very robust and already well-evolved personal, social and health education part of our curriculum, which we call Successful Lives. And that incorporates a number of things, paying attention to national uh, guidelines and what ought to be covered in terms of PSHE, but also some more local guidance and local skills that people perhaps in North Swindon are going to need as they move on and become successful adults. That too is important and is very much the glue which I think holds together some of the subject work and some of the other things which we find are important. I'll talk to you a bit more about this one in a moment, but so important too are enterprise skills. And I'll come back to that just in a second to explain what I mean by that. But that's a really important part of our curriculum as well. So not only are we looking at subjects and then making sure that other aspects of, this, of the curriculum is covered through PSHE and, e and reading, but we're also spending a lot of time working on the explicit teaching of the skills which we think are going to be so important for young people as they go out into the big wide world. Um, and as we've already heard, enrichment too is crucial and integral to our curriculum here. So we have enrichment every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, from 10 past three into half past four, and Joe will speak a little bit more about that. But if I just show you on the screen behind me on the presentation, you can see there's a rich and varied array of things that you can do. Hopefully that just gives you a flavour of the sorts of things that are important. And what we're trying to do with that is to bring some more cultural capital to the young people in our school and get them to explore things that perhaps they've not had a chance to explore yet because we know that's going to be so important to them as they leave school in their adult lives. I will just come back then to enterprise skills. We use a phrase here which goes something like this. We think that the curriculum and the subject skills that you're going to learn here are going to get you the qualifications which are really important to get to the door of your future. Whether that's further or higher education, our own sick form for example, or beyond that, perhaps university or to an apprenticeship or to the door of an employer. Having those pieces of paper which said that you have achieved excellence in those subjects is crucial. But more than that, we think the skills that we're going to equip you with are going to be what gets you through the door of that next stage. 
And we use six skills here at Great Western Academy, and perhaps we're a little different to some establishments in that we explicitly teach those skills, and we track and assess students' progress in those skills as they move through our school. So, skills such as problem solving and creativity, so integral to the world of work, teamwork and leadership, really important in moving yourselves and others onwards and upwards, and then of course listening and presenting. We will give students the opportunities to practice, develop, reflect on those skills, and so when they leave our, our school, they're um, hopefully in a position where they can talk confidently and um, practice those skills and demonstrate those skills in a way which makes them the attractive uh, sort of proposition to the employer or to the university, and they are the person who gets through that door. And I just want to finish on one last note. Another thing we find really important here at Great Western Academy is the opportunity to develop a growth mindset. A growth mindset is not something which you're either born with or without, and it's something which we have in different areas of our lives, in different um, parts of what makes us us. But for us at Great Western Academy, the word yet is really important. We will work with young people to say that when they approach a problem, a challenge, uh, that they can't solve initially, the word yet is important because we can't do it yet rather than we just can't do it. That's our mantra, and that's around building a growth mindset, encouraging young people to approach challenges with a can-do attitude. I think it's really important that we teach young people in the 21st century to have humble confidence and also to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. For me, that's what resilience is about. And that growth mindset is so important so that when you're faced with a challenge and you don't immediately know the answer or haven't immediately got a solution, you don't crumble and actually you build resilience in that way. So we work quite hard and uh, consistently on growth mindset within our curriculum. I hope that sums it up and gives you a flavour of what we're all about. I'm going to pass back to Mr Davis now, who's going to talk to you about the next part of our school, the house system. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, I hope Mr Clark's conveyed some of that passion that we have about being a school where the curriculum is so important to us, but it's broader than you would get in, in many other places. And it's complemented, of course, by our care. And that's provided largely through our house system. And Ms. Hughes will say a little bit more about this in a minute. Our house system is uh, named after three space pioneers, Maggie Adairin Pocock. And uh, she, uh, as we've got on screen, um, is a British space scientist. She's overcome barriers. And she is the person who a Darien house focus on. Uh, we've got Tim Peak representing Peak House. Uh, and Peak House, again, uh, Tim had to go through a huge selection process. He had to get through that door as the skills were talked about there. And we want our students to aspire to do that. And then we have Helen Sharman, uh, representing Sharman House. Helen was the first British astronaut. And again, all three of these people have the same aspirations. They believe students should aim high. They believe they should try and meet their potential and work hard to do that. And they also want to inspire young people. So much so that Maggie's been here to open the school. She came and opened it in uh, October 2018. And Helen Sharman came and opened the sixth form last year, September 2019. We're still waiting for Tim Peake. Hopefully, we'll get him at some stage. Uh, but we want the house system, obviously, to help students and provide them with that opportunity to move forward. And it's about, as I said, aiming high. Not necessarily being space scientists, but aiming high at all times. The house system is also our pastoral care system. And in charge of that is Miss Hughes. And she's going to talk to you about that for a couple of minutes now. Care is at the heart of everything that we do at Great Western Academy, and that is underpinned by our pastoral system. So I'm at the top of that tree, but very much day to day, you will deal with heads of house who lead a team of tutors. Your tutor is the person who's going to know your son or daughter really, really well. They're going to be the person that they see in the first thing in the morning and in the afternoon for that reading session. We've got pastoral intervention leaders who are non-teaching members of staff who are there at the end of the phone if ever you need them. We're here to make sure that you, um, and more importantly your child, has everything that they need to succeed to be able to achieve and to excel. We run house events at Great Western Academy that are there for everybody. Uh, we've got, of course, our sporting events, our football, our rugby, our netball and our um, hockey along the girls' lines. Um, I was rubbish at all of those at school and I did house scrabble so that I got some points for my house. And we make sure that everybody can contribute to those house events um, all the way down to bake-offs and chess. ACE points come for achievement, care and excellence and we do categorise them at Great Western Academy so that we can individually thank and praise those students for everything that they do. We monitor those weekly, monthly um, and by tutor group as well as individual. Everything contributes to being a part of a Darren, Peak or Charmin house. They all go towards the house championship um, and it's a highly treasured cup so we look forward to finding out who our winners are each year. 
and hand back to Mr Davis. Thank you, Ms Hughes. I would emphasise, um, whilst we focus very much on the positives with the house system, uh, we also have in our pastoral care very firm, high expectations of student behaviour and the way they conduct themselves in school and in the local community. And uh, that's also part of our work. I don't want to dwell on it here, but I just want to reassure you clearly that that is also very much a priority of ours as we move forward. Now, you've heard from the adults. Um, if you were able to come and visit the school, you would meet lots of students. We're going to give you the opportunity to meet four of them now. I'm going to introduce you to, if they can come up now, uh, Georgia, Alfie, Molly and Joe, and they're going to speak to you a little bit now. Hi, I'm Georgia and I'm going to speak to you about lessons. So lessons are obviously a very important part of school and it's what's going to get you through the door to the future. Personally, I really enjoy all lessons, but science is probably my favourite. This is because you can do lots of practicals, in particularly chemistry, with not only Bunsen burners, but plants, microscopes, and it's really fun. But in other classes as well, they're just as enjoyable because the environment's such a great place to be and it's so welcoming. Hi, my name's Alfie and I'm going to be talking about classrooms and teachers. So when I first came to GWA, I anticipated that the classrooms were quite bland and they only had a few displays here and there. However, I was wrong. The classrooms are bright, they're vibrant, and you feel a buzz of learning in the room. The displays show work that gives students confidence and pride in what they do. Teachers are always welcoming at the door and they always tailor to students' needs and help each and every one of them, which gives them confidence and also makes sure that it gives lessons fun and enjoyable. Hello, I'm Molly and I'm going to be talking about Student Parliament. It is the student voice in school and is what allows you to have your opinions heard. You will vote for who will be your representation in your tutor group and then they can go on to run different events. There are three different ministries, wellbeing, community and education, that all focus on, on bettering different areas of the school. Hi, <coughs> hi, I'm Jo and I'm going to talk about Richmond. Um, so, as you've heard, there's self-study where you can do homework, but there's also a range of activities after school that suits everyone. It comes from baking all the way to sport, all the way to eco club. There's, the possibilities are endless. Thank you ever so much. Um, you may go and take your seats again. Uh, all of us are doing this, obviously, in a situation where we're having to talk to a camera when normally we'd have an audience and I'd say give them a massive round of applause because they were fantastic, weren't they? Um, and uh, our students are, are, are our best ambassadors and I hope they exemplify that spirit, that quality and that uh, humble confidence that we want in our students here at GWA. I want to talk briefly about work with our community. We are very um, uh, lucky to be part of a new community here in North Swindon. We have very strong links with our primary schools and we'll be making sure that those students joining us in September uh, will be uh, welcomed through their primaries. We work with the teachers there and that we work with them as we, we uh, in welcome new students to the school. Um, we also have lots of uh, interest from the local community in using our facilities uh, and we have lots of local groups who come and work in the school as well. And we feel we're very much, you know, we're, we're lucky, aren't we? We've got a lovely building and we're, we're able to use that to the community's benefit, not just to the school. We are linked with lots of local businesses um, and that, again, is of mutual benefit, we hope, that we can uh, certainly help the students to learn from uh, the local community in their terms of their business interests, but also that those uh, businesses can uh, hopefully be, uh, be part of benefiting from, from having our students with those skills uh, approaching them in the future and other reasons as well where it may be positive uh, for everybody to be involved. So some of the businesses we work with on screen, um, apologies if we work with you and have missed you out, uh, we are very welcome to, uh, to get in touch with us if you'd like to be involved. Uh, some of our enrichment is provided by external people as well, so Swindon Town for example and a medical music service do music lessons and all of these things are things that we want to continue to develop as the school grows and as the local community grows. I'm also going to just dwell briefly on some practicalities. Uh, you do need to be aware that our school day runs from 8.30 till 4.30 and all students stay till half past four, Monday to Thursday, 3.10 finish on a Friday, as we've discussed. Uh, and that is very important that, that everybody is in on those times. You've seen the students wearing our uniform. Uh, we hope that's uh, simple but smart um, and it's uh, 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 very competitively priced uh, in comparison to others, but that uniform is something that we expect students to wear with pride so that they are representing themselves and their school in school and in the local community. 
Most of our students live close enough to the school to walk or cycle. Um, there is a, a, a bus provision as well by Stagecoach, a public bus provision. There are a couple of buses that run into school uh, and you can check those on the timetable. But we don't generally provide any further transport because, as I said, most students live very, very locally to us. The whole admissions process is managed through Swindon Borough Council and you need to apply by the 31st of October for a place uh, in the following September. Uh, if you do have questions about that, you're very welcome to contact us, um, but that process is something that is guided through the council and, and we, uh, we wish you well with making decisions. Obviously, this is what this is about, is helping you to make that important decision. And I just mentioned again that we do work very closely with primary schools, again, in terms of practicalities, where we have students, particularly those who might need a little bit of extra support over their transition to secondary school. That's something that we put a, a, a good emphasis on and work with our primary colleagues to ensure that students start as best they possibly can. I'm talking to you right now in the second week of term, um, and I would say that the, the Year 7 cohort who have just started have made a fantastic start to the school, and those that work that we've done to make sure that they're ready has very much paid off, and we'll continue to do that in the future. So, um, if you are on site, we would be asking you at this point to be going around and visiting places. As it is now, you can go to our website and click on different bits of things you can go and have a look at. And we want you to do that uh, and to be able to, to find out more and more about the school. You are always welcome to contact us with questions and would encourage you to do that. Uh, so please use the contact forms on the website um, and we will do all we can to answer any questions that help you to make your decision. And I'm just going to finish with a couple of quotes. We use a lot of quotes in school. You've heard the one about aiming high. Um, we also use this one in terms of growth mindset. Uh, whether you think you can do something or you think you can't, you're probably right. So we aim for students to think they can. And if they can't, then it's a not yet, as Mr. Clark was explaining. And we want students, therefore, to be able to, if they can dream it, as Walt Disney said, they can do it. That's our spirit here at GWA. We hope you've enjoyed listening to this particular presentation and uh, good luck with making your decisions. Thank you for watching.